Greetings, everyone. Today I'm talking to you about symmetry. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Okay, this happy face. Is there a way I can fold this happy face such that the folded halves match up exactly? There is. There is a way down the center. If I fold across this line, you can see that the halves match up perfectly. If you can fold an object such that its halves match up perfectly, the line across which you fold it is referred to as a line of symmetry. Any figure that has a line of symmetry is called symmetrical. Can we all say symmetrical? But what if I fold that happy face a different way? What if I fold it down across its center? Well, it looks like the halves match up, but there is an image on the other side that doesn't match the image on this side, remember? The eyes and the mouth. So when you fold it this way, this particular circle with this particular image is not symmetrical when you fold it this way. Here we have some examples of letters that can be drawn symmetrically. Remember that the halves have to match when you fold across the line of symmetry. What about this rectangle? Does it have lines of symmetry? Let's check. Let's fold down the center here. Those match. There's one line of symmetry. How about this way? Those match. Another line of symmetry. How about corner to corner? No, those don't match up. So that is not a line of symmetry for this rectangle. How about this figure? What if we try across the center here? Nope, not a line of symmetry. What about folding down? Not a line of symmetry. Okay, let's try corner to corner. That didn't work either. This particular figure had no lines of symmetry. How about these figures? These figures are all regular polygons. A regular polygon means that all of the side lengths are the same length. When you have a regular polygon, it is going to have the same number of lines of symmetry as it has number of sides or number of angles. So the triangle has three lines of symmetry, the square, four, and my regular pentagon, five. So some of you might be asking, what about a circle? Good question. This circle, no matter what line you put through the center, is a line of symmetry. So the circle has an infinite number of lines of symmetry. Okay, now it's your turn to practice what you've learned.